What's up? This is a uh, fire clown from Alpha Squad Paintball. Today I'm talking about three uh, specific plans that you could try out on the field. And uh, bear with me, I lost my Flash program and my Illustrator, so I'm going to be using um, little army dudes and construction paper to uh, simulate bushes and trees. So bear with me. All right, what we got here are uh, four guys. With uh, red dots in her head, simulating that they're on the red team. And we got these cutouts. The green uh, cloud looking thingies with the brown in the middle are trees. The uh, green cutout uh, cloud looking things that don't have uh, brown in the middle are bushes. And the half circle you see there is the, um, the bunker or whatever you want to call it, where the flag would be, the base, if you will. All right, this first plan I like to call the perimeter plan. Um, you're going to set up a perimeter at your base and get a couple kills off uh, before you go out and get the flag. That way you have the advantage. Uh, I learned this from my cousin Delta. And uh, as you can see where the arrows are pointing, these are where uh, specific areas where uh, these guys are going to go. One guy's going to be uh, to the left. One guy's going to be to the right. One guy's going to be up, up, the, uh, up the field. And one guy's going to be in the bunker. And um, I'm going to show you how these guys are going to be set up. All right, we got our guys all set up. Obviously, you see some some uh, orange markers there. Those are their peripheral vision. This is where they're looking at. We got a guy um, up the field at 12 o'clock. He's watching, watching uh, 12 o'clock. We got a guy down in the bunker watching the flank, 6 o'clock. We got a guy to the left watching 9 o'clock, looking at everything to the left. In, uh, in some trees, and we got another guy behind a tree watching the uh, right side, the, his, uh, everybody's uh, 3 o'clock. Now, uh, what this does is this uh, sets a perimeter, and they're watching every angle. So no matter where the enemy comes from, they're going to spot them and uh, get some kills off first, and then they can go get the flag. So um, if they spot somebody, they, you know, everybody's going to unload on them, and uh, there's no way that they can get caught by surprise. So this is what I call plan one, perimeter. All right, in this next plan, there's going to be one guy left behind at the bunker with the radio, of course. And the rest of the three guys are going to go out and uh, basically capture the flag while one guy stays back. And um, a lot of people like to do this, leave one guy behind while three guys go get the flag. And you basically just... You know, you chance it, you know, uh, if the guy gets killed back at your base, um, you guys are going to have to run back and uh, try to get the dude with the flag or get the flag back to your base before they uh, get, get your flag and take it back to their base. So um, basically what's going to happen here, one guy's going to stay back and three other guys are going to go out. Now in case um, the guy back at the bunker all alone encounters some blue dudes like you see right here. The only thing he he can't he can't fight him off all by himself, you know, so he he'll get lit up unless he's like real good. So the only thing he can do is uh, radio back for help, and uh, that's basically what you see here. Those black lines are just a call for uh, for help. All right, this is a uh, plan number three. I call it the recon plan. As you can see where the arrows are pointing, one guy's gonna go down into the bunker. One guy's gonna go to the right into the trees. Another guy into the tree. And the long arrow right there is uh, one guy's going to go out and recon. Now, if you don't know what recon is, it means gathering intelligence. So this guy's going to go out and gather intelligence, and the other guys are going to get set up. All right, obviously we see the three guys right here set up. We got uh, one guy at uh, 9 o'clock, one guy at 3 o'clock, and one guy at 6 o'clock. And um, basically this is a perimeter, and they're going to be watching the base while the guy's out, you know, on recon. So if they get in a little in a little scuffle, it's okay. You know, they're just they'll just battle it out. They don't need to call the guy back for help. If anything, he's he's telling them, you know, if they're inbound or if they're all at their base, but basically these guys are gonna hold their position while the other guy is out in recon. Alright, we find our hero out in the field and he's uh radioing back some information. Now what he can radio back is a series of things like they're all set up at their base, you know, and if they're all set up at their base, it's pretty useless to stay back at your base 
or have one guy go in there and try to get the flag. So he'll probably radio them back and then uh, tell them his location, and they'll meet up with him and then form an attack. Or um, they could be there could be nobody at the base, so that means like either they set up a perimeter, or there's one guy there and he can't find them, or you know, or there is a guy there and there's only one guy there, and uh, the other guys are inbound on their position. Now what can happen is he can go back and. Uh, help help uh the other guys at the base or he can go ahead and try to get the flag by himself and um it's it's a it's a call that the that the that you guys have to make on your own so he, he can either he can also like you know say i i see them they're inbound on you and uh go ahead and set up a flank position on the enemy and um close in on them as they're coming into your guys' trap so basically, this is just recon. You set three guys up at your base, or however many guys you got, and you send one guy out. All right, that's pretty much it. Um, you got three plans. One, you can uh, set up a perimeter, get some kills off, and uh, have the advantage and go get the flag. Or two, you can leave one guy behind and send the rest out to go get the flag. Or the third one is recon. You can uh, set up a perimeter at the base and then send one guy out and then uh, formulate a plan then. I recommend you guys uh, do recon because it sets up a perimeter and you're gathering intelligence because you can set up a perimeter and then not know what the hell is going on. You're just going to sit there and wait and wait and wait. And that's, you know, if you got a lot of patience, that's cool. But, you know, it's best to just know you know what's going on this is where your radio is coming real handy you know so I recommend you know you do recon first and then formulate a plan you know go send your guy out you know if they're all at their base then you know it's smart to then you know do plan number one you know what I mean I mean number two you know leave one one guy behind and then set the send the other guys to go get the flag so uh, you can either take my advice or you can um, Bend over and aim at your face and piss in your own mouth. This is the Fire Clown from Alpha Squad Paintball.